be be filled with the joy of Adonai. It's easy to trust God when everything is going your way. The world loves you and everyone's happy. Money in the bank, you everyone's favorite because your gift has made room for you. But can you still trust him when you don't have everyone showing you favor? No one's cheering for you. Family disrespects you and faith don't seem to work. You don't have the friends you thought you would have because they busy. Our life as a believer ain't about speaking articulately and being perfect. It's about one thing, and that's pleasing God. The highlighted scripture was Psalms 144 in the King James Version. The New International Version says, Keep me safe, Lord, Adonai in Hebrew, from the hands of the wicked. Protect me from the violent who despise ways to trap my feet. You got people trying to trap you. You got people that's trying to harm you. You got people that don't want to see you following Adonai, your heavenly father. Here's a word for you. Give him the praise and give him the glory. God will. God's going to show you mercy in a situation and a miracle is going to happen for you. God is about to set you up so you can come out so he can raise you up so that you can be more effective for his kingdom to be set apart to do his will now because he's allowed you to do your will he's allowed you to do that and be that and become that but now he's bringing you back and he wants you to turn back to him and repent because you're going to need him because he's going to put you in a situation because it's going to be god's doing because God is about to set you up. You think they are setting you up. No, 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 no. You got it wrong. God is setting you up so he can pull you out and snatch you back. Recognize that it's God. <laughs> I declare and decree that every threat <laughs> and agenda is of null and voided. Don't you dare beg nobody for nothing. Keep walking and believing in God Almighty. Yahweh. But let me just say this. There is a God that no devil can ever conquer. Okay? Let me see. Hello? Hi, what's up? What's going on? Prophets, I mean, shalom and blessings. Hallelujah, glory to God and all of that. Mm hmm. Oh, no, that's not going to happen. No, 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 I'm for real. That's not going to happen. Mm -mm. I'm not doing that. <laughs> You can just sign me up. Acts 2.38, then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Yeshua Jesus, Hamashiach Christ, for the remission of sin, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Sign me up. I know for that one. I'm not going under no water. I'm not letting no pastor put me under no water and throw me backwards and stuff with water going all up in my nose because I cannot swim. It's not what you think it is. The water is not that deep. You can't drown. And you hold your nose. The water won't go up the your nose. I promise you it'll be fine. Oh, okay. You're speaking in the tongues. Okay. Well, I, I, well, I speak English. I don't speak no other languages. So, uh, well, I, don't, I don't really understand it. <laughs> I don't really understand. I can't go back to school. <laughs> be learning other languages and stuff. Oh, God going to tell me just, he just, God just gonna give me another language. He's just gonna change the language I've already learned. Okay. Okay, yeah. Let me let me call you back. I gotta go. 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 I'm just getting saved. Now she wants me to get in some water with a man and let him just throw me backwards in the water. <sighs> Lord, what 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 is this? I I just don't uh uh. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Okay, Lord. Well. I'm going to talk to the Lord about that. Because I need to continue to read my Bible. Because I need to see what the Lord said about that. Mm-hmm, about that right there. I'm going to talk to the Lord about that right there. Because <laughs> if I don't have to get that, I don't want it. I did some Googling. About the baptism and the evidence and speaking in tongues. I 
I need that. Because then you talk directly to the God. Then I can stop asking her to pray for me. I can just be praying in my tongues and be talking directly to God. And that's what's up. So I now read and Google it. Thank the Lord for Google. Google. I just looked it up. I showed it. I just looked it up. Hmm. Oh, I need that. I need that baptism with the evidence and speaking to them tongues. Because them tongues is going to give me a direct line to God. And then, if I can't reach her, guess what? I'll just talk into my tongues. To my God. <laughs> Thank you.